Trust me, I know what I'm doing. shot for the last time you hear me old man mr schmielman please i'm simply not comfortable working with these special makeups in the old days i always played the vampire without thanks oh yeah well now you can play it without a job you're fired zev get over here throw the senile old loser off my set I want him out of my sight, now! I'm so sorry, Mr. Ligarski. Uh, uh, why don't you just come along with me? Unhand and... me, sir. Vincent Ligarski always makes his exits alone. Horror film star of the 30s, Vincent Ligarski, passed away quietly tonight. He was 76. Ligarski had been working on a comeback film at the time of his death, Touch of the Vampire. He's survived by a daughter. It's so sad when an old movie star dies. Actors. The only time a man should wear makeup on his face is after he's been embalmed. Sledge, how do you always manage to say horrible things? It's easy. I just use the English language. Oh, spilled salt. Bad luck. You know what you have to do. Those superstitions are ludicrous, Darrell. All right, if it'll make you happy. See, just like I said, every last drop of blood's been drained from the victim's body. I haven't seen a man bled this dry since the Decorian divorce. We take a look at that wound on his neck. Yeah. I'll tell you, I haven't seen anything like this in my 12 years as a coroner. I haven't seen anything like this in my six years as a cop. I haven't seen anything like this in my 49 years as a man. Sledge, you're only 40. I was a man nine years before I was born, Darrell. What's the details on our Mr. Rigamortis here, Norman? The deceased was one Stephen Smillman, a movie director. We haven't had any luck locating any of his next of kin. That's just as well. Hate to see a relative come down and view that body. It's white as a sheet. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll fix him up. I keep a sun lamp down at the morgue. Bye now. Inspector Hammer, the only interesting thing we found is this script. This must be the movie the poor Joker was working on before he bought it. That's the movie Vincent Ligarski was working on when he died. 
Sledge, I think we should go to the studio that's making this movie. Are you Zeph Campbell, the producer? Police officers. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. We just got the call that Stephen is late. Because he's late. What happened? I'm going to be blunt with you, Mr. Campbell. Your director was murdered. And his demise was meant to appear to be death by, um... By a vampire. A vampire? That's right. Do you have any idea what sort of person would want to drain a young director of all his blood? Any William Morris agent. I am in a total state of shock. First my star, now my director. And I thought yesterday was a nightmare. And what happened yesterday? Schmielman threw a fit on the stage and fired Vincent Ligarski. Poor old man was doing the best he could. Can anybody else fill me in on this Schmielman fella? Our co-star, Jessica Novak. But please keep in mind, she is the most upset of all of us right now. She has suffered a tremendous personal loss. Why? Are she and Schmielman intimate? No, no. All of her close-ups have been canceled for today. Well, thank you. Pardon us, Miss Novak, would you mind? I'm sorry. No autographs, please. I'm ravaged. Uh, we're not fans. Uh, tell us about Schmielman. Stephen? Yes, dear Stephen. He was a genius, a great artist, and a wonderful human being. Without him, I don't know what I'll do. Uh, <laughs> Actually, Miss Novak, we'd prefer to ask questions on a more investigatory nature. <laughs> That's all the statement I care to give. Now, would you like to take a photograph? But why would we want to do that? Aren't you, aren't you press? No. No, we're not press. We're police officers. Are you telling me that I've just wasted a perfectly brilliant crying jag on a couple of non-media peons? Now listen to me, you've got to listen to me. It's true, it's true, I swear. I saw Vincent Lagarski last night. He was walking the streets in his cape, big, big as life. Uh, you've been spending too much time in Margaritaville, Alki. Listen to me. Vincent Lagarski has risen from the grave. Why, why, why doesn't anyone believe me? Because you're nothing but a stinking drunk spreading wild rumors. Now, why don't you sober up and get a job? I already have a job. Really? What is that? I'm chairman of the school board. Yeah. He's telling the truth, Duro. Hey, you. I'm telling you, I saw Vincent Lagarski out in the street. It was that dead guy, Vincent Lagarski, from the movies. Not another space cadet. What's going on? Well, I'm taking this report from this uh, civilian who claims that she saw that deceased actor. Vincent Lagarski? That's right. I was standing on a street corner minding my own business, which is my body, when this guy came up and introduced himself as Count Bora. He said he wanted to bite me in the neck and suck out all my blood. What did you do? I told him it would cost 20 bucks. After that, he took off. Where'd you get those red marks on your neck? From this count person? Nah, one of your cops gave them to me when I was riding up in the elevator.
Now, Duro, I know what you're going to say, and the answer is impossible. Well, you can't ignore the supernatural overtones of this case, Sledge. Look, I only put credence in things that have been absolutely proven to exist. I don't believe in vampires, in ghosts, UFOs, the Warren Report. They're all malarkey. Okay, well, I'm not afraid to admit it. This case gives me the creeps. Sorry, Duro. I don't scare that easily. Oh, Hammer! Yeah? Did you get the message? What? Your ex-wife called, said last month's alimony check got lost. You're gonna have to send her another one. <laughs> it appears the late actor Vincent Ligarski is getting more publicity in death than he did in life. Numerous city residents have reportedly cited the deceased film star. Police refuse to comment and are also remaining silent on their investigation of the bizarre murder of movie director Stephen Schmilman. Incidentally, our station will be showing several of Vincent Ligarski's old films starting tonight. Here's a preview. The children of the night. Mm, what music they made. I am lovely, 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 and bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. <laughs> bubbly, 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 and grapey, grapey. Mm. <laughs> Who? What? When? Why? All right, I'll be right over. I forgot to ask where. Why all the extra police photographers today? They're not police photographers. They're paparazzi. Come on, come on. Who found the body? Landlord. Apparently Zev Campbell called him when Jessica didn't turn up for their date. Zev Campbell's now afraid to leave the house. He should be. His stupid flick is claiming more lives than World War II. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, that's not all, Sledge. Some of the people in the apartment building believe they saw a man running through the hallway in a cape. Quick, you... Oh. Ah. Just what the hell's going on around here? Is this Ligarski character dead or what? Well, I think it's about time we found out once and for all. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. I just cannot believe this. Has this entire city taken leave of its senses? Victims drained of blood? A dead actor walking the streets? I've got officers requisitioning everything from garlic to wooden steaks. Well, you turned me down for those six months ago. <sighs> Doro, I can't condone belief in the occult. What, in your opinion, is the most logical way to proceed amidst this nonsense? I think we should exhume Ligarski's coffin and see if he's dead or alive. Yeah, yeah. Ex 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 exhumation? Exhumation, exorcism, what's the difference? You're the only person who can issue the order to dig him up. Well, I look like a fool. Look, I can't let the department think I believe in this vampire mumbo-jumbo. I won't say a word to anyone, sir. All right. All right, I will approve of the exhumation if you will promise to keep it discreet. I promise, sir. Hammer! 
buy a dictionary and learn the definition of discreet. Hey, I have not said a word to anybody, sir. Captain, I'd like to apologize for Sledge bringing this here, but the fact of the matter is I couldn't stop. Well, we have to open it sometime. Right. Let's get this damn thing over with. Open it up. A hey, hammer. What do you expect to find in there? Something that's going to make us all feel a lot better, Major, eh? A rotten, stinking corpse. <laughs> this Ligorsky guy is survived by a daughter, right? Yes, apparently she'd been living with him. Well, if Ligarski's daughter wants to survive, she better be able to answer some questions. I'm telling you the truth. My father's body was cremated. Burying that empty coffin was merely a formality for the estate. So you're telling us your father's positively dead? I should hope so. Last week, I spread his ashes all over the 605 freeway. In keeping with his last request? No, I was driving too fast with the top down. Come, follow me. Let me share something with you. to my father's genius. Everything you need to know about him is in this room. Well, not everything, Miss Ligarski. Tell me why your father's director and co-star are dead. And tell me why every schmo in town has seen the old man roaming the streets like some sort of boogeyman. Tell me that, Miss Ligarski. I have no idea of what you are talking about. Neither do I. Ms. Ligarski, under what exact circumstances did your father pass away? He was watching television, and he just quietly went to sleep and never woke up. I hope he wasn't watching Mr. Belvedere. I'd hate to think the old fellow went out suffering. You know? Oh, but how my father did suffer. He was dealt the cruelest punishment an actor can receive. He was forgotten. Unappreciative youngsters masquerading as artists made him feel old and worthless. Congratulations. That little acceptance speech for best supporting psycho just revealed a motive, girlie. I'm taking you in for murder. Sledge, let's not jump to conclusions. Oh, come on. Hand my door. Ah! Vincent Lugarski, back among the living, I see. It comes as no surprise to me. I'd already suspected you were alive. When did you first suspect? Well, when you said unhand my daughter, that... Uh... Put away your weapon, sir. I admit to my little hoax, but I certainly didn't intend for my beloved daughter to be incarcerated because of it. What exactly did you intend? Why isn't it obvious? I wanted to enjoy the accolades and tributes you can only die to receive, to further perpetuate my legend. I shocked this city with my nocturnal appearances, culminating in what's to be the greatest comeback of all time. Yes, my return from the grave. Does that answer your question? At least. It doesn't answer mine. Why did you kill Schmielman and Novak? I haven't killed anyone. What are you talking about? You already made yourself dead. Come on. You're both under arrest. So, now, how did you drain all that blood out of those bodies? Did you bite him in the neck? I have no idea what you're talking about. I know it was the daughter, right? She's got fangs from a bungled orthodontic procedure. Am I right? It's... <laughs> well, I'll figure it out sooner or later. Duro, stop being such a worry wart. That nutty actor and his daughter are in custody. The case is closed, all right? Now try to get some sleep.
Campbell. What is this, Halloween? You look ridiculous. Shut up. I heard on the news Ligarski's death was a fraud. A dead man can't prove his innocence, but a live one can. You killed Shmuelman and Novak, you little geek. Why? Jealousy. Stephen and Jessica were lovers. I desired her, but all she did was mock me. Tried to make me feel unworthy, unattractive. Well, you are. Technically, the film was finished when I killed Stephen. But doing so the day before the official completion meant... Meant she could collect on the insurance. Nice. But why did you kill Jessica? Because she continued to reject you, right? Uh, that was one of the reasons. The other was for the publicity. This film's gonna make a mint by the time it's released. But without a dead Ligarski as my scapegoat, I gotta ensure I don't get caught. And that means... killing you. Hey, take a hike, Campbell, will you? I'll arrest you manana. Right now, I feel kind of drained. An appropriate choice of words, Mr. Hammer. Yeah. winged him. Pitiful excuse for a human being. Sledge, this whole affair has been just ghastly. Yeah. Probably turned out to be a terrific movie, though. It's funny, the only person who turned out not to be a monster was the old man who was playing one. Vincent Ligarski. What do you think will happen to him? The same thing that happens to any old-time movie star, I guess. What's that? He'll live. Forever. Ah, the children of the night. What music they made. Down. I only winged him. Pitiful excuse for a human being. Sledge, this whole affair has been just ghastly. Yeah. Probably turned out to be a terrific movie, though. It's funny, the only person who turned out not to be a monster was the old man who was playing one. Vincent Ligarski. What do you think will happen to him? The same thing that happens to any old-time movie star, I guess. What's that? He'll live forever. Ah, 
the children of the night What music they make Famed horror film star of the 30s, Vincent Ligarski, passed away quietly tonight. He was 76. Ligarski had been working on a comeback film at the time of his death, Touch of the Vampire. He survived by a daughter. It's so sad when an old movie star dies. Actors. The only time a man should wear makeup on his face is after he's been embalmed. Sledge, how do you always manage to say horrible things? It's easy. I just use the English language. Oh, spilled salt. Bad luck. Know what you have to do. Those superstitions are ludicrous, Darrell. All right, if it'll make you happy. Must have heard some bad news. his way through a polygrip commercial. Vampire without teeth. All right, if it'll make you happy. his way through a polygrip commercial. Vampire without teeth. Method crack. You. You. <laughs> You see, just like I said, every last drop of blood's been drained from the victim's body. I haven't seen a man bled this dry since the Delcorian divorce. We take a look at that wound on his neck. Yeah. I'll tell you, I haven't seen anything like this in my 12 years as a coroner. I haven't seen anything like this in my six years as a cop. I haven't seen anything like this in my 49 years as a man. Sledge, you're only 40. I was a man nine years before I was born, Darrell. What's the details on our Mr. Rigamortis here, Norman? Campbell! What is this, Halloween? You look ridiculous. Shut up! I heard on the news Ligarski's death was a fraud. A dead man can't prove his innocence, but a live one can. You killed Schmielman and Novak, you little geek. Why? Jealousy. Stephen and Jessica were lovers. I desired her, but all she did was mock me. Tried to make me feel unworthy, unattractive. Well, you are. Technically, the film was finished when I killed Stephen. But doing so the day before the official completion Meant... Meant she could collect on the insurance. Nice. But why did you kill Jessica? Because she continued to reject you, right? Uh, that was one of the reasons. The other was for the publicity. This film's gonna make a mint by the time it's released. But without a dead Ligarski as my scapegoat, I gotta ensure I don't get caught. And that means... killing you. Hey, take a hike, Campbell, will you? I'll arrest you manana. Right now, I feel kind of drained. An appropriate choice of words, Mr. Hammer. Yeah. Why all the extra police photographers today? They're not police photographers. They're paparazzi. 
Come on, come on. Who found the body? Landlord. Apparently Zev Campbell called him when Jessica didn't turn up for their date. Zev Campbell's now afraid to leave the house. He should be. His stupid flick is claiming more lives than World War II. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, that's not all, Sledge. Some of the people in the apartment building believe they saw a man running through the hallway in a cape. Good news. Just what the hell's going on around here? Is this Ligarski character dead or what? Well, I think it's about time we found out once and for all. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. I just cannot believe this. Has this entire city taken leave of its senses? Victims drained of blood? A dead actor walking the streets? I've got officers requisitioning everything from garlic to wooden steaks. Well, you turned me down for those six months ago. <sighs> Doro, I can't condone belief in the occult. What, in your opinion, is the most logical way to proceed amidst this nonsense? I think we should exhume Ligarski's coffin and see if he's dead or alive. Yeah, yeah. Star of the 30s, Vincent Ligarski passed away quietly tonight. He was 76. Ligarski had been working on a comeback film at the time of his death, Touch of the Vampire. He's survived by a daughter. It's so sad when an old movie star dies. Actors. The only time a man should wear makeup on his face is after he's been embalmed. Sledge, how do you always manage to say horrible things? It's easy. I just use the English language. Oops, spilled salt. Bad luck. You know what you have to do. Those superstitions are ludicrous, Doreau. All right, if it'll make you happy. your question? At least. It doesn't answer mine. Why did you kill Schmielman and Novak? I haven't killed anyone. What are you talking about? You already made yourself dead. Come on. You're both under arrest. So, now, how did you drain all that blood out of those bodies? Did you bite him in the neck? I have no idea what you're talking about. I know it was the daughter, right? She's got fangs from a bungled orthodontic procedure. Am I right? It's... <laughs> Well, I'll figure it out sooner or later. Duro, stop being such a worry wart. That nutty actor and his daughter are in custody. The case is closed, all right? Now try to get some sleep. Halloween? You look ridiculous. Shut up. I heard on the news Ligarski's death was a fraud.